Eric Morell has been waiting 12 years for a shot at another world boxing title, and he's getting it Saturday, April 21st in El Paso, Texas, when he'll fight for the vacant WBC silver bantamweight title. It's been a long and sometimes bumpy road to get back, but now he's there again. In the mid-90s, Eric Morell was on top of the boxing world, literally. He was the WBA flyweight champion and made the 1996 Olympics. Then he had to rebuild his career from the ground up after spending 22 months in prison. But ever since, Eric Morell has kept his nose clean and his focus on getting another shot at a world title. This is an opportunity that uh, doesn't come very often. And uh, this, is, this is a time for me to prove that uh, I still got it. Uh, and and it, means, it means the world to me. Morell is now 36 years old and he'll face undefeated 23-year-old Abner Matis in El Paso for the title. Morell says he's in the best shape of his life, stronger, quicker, and smarter. Being 36 could be an advantage. Yeah, the 36 is a number. So I don't see this affect to him and nothing at all because he's in the best shape ever. More mature, um, uh, I'm dedicated more. Um, it just more focused and, and, and hungrier. Morrell gets lots of support from his trainer, his family, and now former Badger basketball star Trent Jackson. Jackson is the sixth leading scorer in Badger history, and his company, Ruff Sportswear, sponsors Morrell in his quest for a world championship. Ruff is an acronym for Reach Out, You Get Help, and Reach Out, You Give Help. Jackson's company donates part of its profits to Boys and Girls Club, Big Brothers Big Sisters, and other organizations to lend a helping hand to others. We believe in second chances. I mean, here's a guy who has paid his time, he's paid his debt, uh, he's trying to make good, and um, we're, we're happy to be able to partner with him and support him. Morell and Jackson hope their successes will give people hope and help support their dreams, whatever they may be. April 21st will be a big night for both the fighter and rough sportswear. Everything in life is hard, you know. You got to work for it, um, but you cannot give up. You know, a lot of people don't expect them to win. Uh, rough sportswear is the same way. You know, we're, we're competing with guys like Nike and Reebok and Adidas, and uh, we, we have a nothing to lose attitude as well. So we're just going to give it our best shot, just like Eric is going to give it his best shot. And at the end of the day, you let the, you, you let the chips fall where they may. Morell's championship bout on April 21st will be televised live on Showtime. Trent Jackson says it'll be the first boxing match he's ever attended, and both Morell and Jackson hope the trip to El Paso will mean even bigger and better things in the future. Who knew a basketball guy and a boxing guy would get no together? Kidding. It's an interesting relationship, and it might turn out to be pretty big stuff. Hope he can make the best of the second chance. Trent Jackson, just like Morell, these guys don't age, do they? They no. look just like they. No kidding. Jackson looks like he can still play. Just like us, right? right? Yeah. 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 Jay, thank you. Best of luck to him. All right, we'll be right back with the final check on your forecast.